The rig uses many pieces of equipment to circulate and treat or condition the mud. Mud circulation begins here, in the mud tanks, sometimes called the pits. Crew members prepare the mud in these tanks and make it ready for circulation. The heart of the circulating system is the mud pump. Often, rigs have two pumps, one primary pump and one for backup. Or, if hole conditions require it, the driller can compound or combine the two pumps to circulate large volumes of mud. In fact, on deep wells, the rig may have three or four compound pumps. The powerful pump, or pumps, pick up mud from the mud tanks and send it to the drill string and bit. The pump moves the mud into the discharge line, up the standpipe, and into the rotary hose. The standpipe takes the mud about halfway up the mast. The rotary hose is attached to the standpipe. The rotary hose is strong, flexible hose that moves with a swivel as it goes up and down in the mast. From the rotary hose, the pump moves mud through the swivel and then down the kelly and drill string. On rigs with a top drive, the mud moves through a passage in the top drive and then into the drill string. The pump moves the mud down the drill string to the bit. At the bit, the mud jets out of the openings or nozzles in the bit. The jets of mud move cuttings away from the bit. Mud then continues up the annulus, carrying the cuttings with it. From the annulus, the mud with the cuttings in it goes through the return line, sometimes called the flow line, to the shale shaker. The shale shaker removes the cuttings from the mud. The mud then falls into the mud tanks where the mud pump can pick it up and continue the circulation process.